boyfriends and girlfriends. I've been a guinea pig three times this morning. Will you believe it? <laughs> Two you know of. The third time, when Malini threw that chocolate and nearly sort of brushed across my ball head and landed in Shashi Khan's lap. <laughs> so, you know, I'm only a guinea pig and not a boyfriend and a girl to anyone. Harris is the person I'm going to introduce you to. Harris A.W. or Harris Rahid is well known to me and perhaps I know him for a longer time than any member in the And that is why I feel privileged to introduce him to you. He manages the Human Relations Department at uh, Soft Paradigms in Protect My Soul and carries over 17 years of experience. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, a seasoned journalist, mainly in training and strategic management at IT's e governance and software industries. That's his job. But I know him better as a Toastmaster. He has served as President, VPPR, and Secretary of SPI Toastmasters, myself, and has achieved ACB ALS in his journey in Toastmasters. We shall see him in action as our co-chair at Jamburi in Mysore later on this month. I came to know him as a very enthusiastic Toastmaster when he was in AI governor. The year I was in the division governor 2012-2013 when we were just in age He was very enthusiastic. He helped me conduct the judges training in Mysore, made arrangements for me to stay over there in Mysore and of course helped me conduct the, the media division conference in myself and some of you who participated will probably remember what a good host he and his team were. His enthusiasm is infectious. He was our cheerleader. Cheerleader? Yes. <laughs> when our division representative at the district level in Cochin, Dr. Malini Heba, people are talking about Malini all the time. Perhaps this is the third time. <laughs> Dr. Malini Heba, DTM, was crowned the Evaluation Contest Champ in Kochi. And our cheerleader was, was Harris. And his photograph went viral. Within a few minutes of winning her, and I was about to, you know, get onto my mobile and tell someone, those people are not attended, that the shed one. This is you already know it. <laughs> so that's his enthusiasm. Uh, he travels a lot. He has mentored LMT, Lawson and Tubro Club in my show, sponsored the SGM Club, the club that we used to talk about, which was in the ICU for a while, and he, he revived it, so he's a doctor too. He likes traveling. I've seen his photographs on the Facebook, uh, on his web page, and I did not know that he's into creative writing. Uh, he's writing a book called Arthur Valley. I do not know what it is, you probably tell us about it, which is due for publishing by a big publishing company. So he's not only an avid reader, but also a writer. With his training and leadership qualities, I don't think there's anyone who would be more well qualified today to tell us about how to get into the driving seat. How to get into the driving seat to take your careers forward in your life. So over to you. The space is all yours. Welcome to my Uh, for the first time, 
I was wondering what people do because people uh, were in the closed rooms and they had so many things to talk about. I thought most of them are intellectual types and since I thought I would want someone who can closely relate to that, uh, then later when I had a chance to get into that, I realized what I got. So what I would like to say here is the opportunity that comes in your way sometimes comes very slowly. You have to be alert and you need to see whether you will be able to recognize that. Now I will give you 30 seconds, only 30 seconds, I will play a timer role. Uh, you have to do a small exercise. If you don't have a piece of paper, just imagine that you are doing something in your mind. Uh, write or draw a scenery uh, or anything that comes to you in your mind. Uh, you have 30 seconds. Write a scenery or uh, something that you can, you can relate that very close uh, to your heart. If you have 30 seconds, will you do that please? And your time starts now. If you don't have a piece of paper, just imagine that you are doing something. You have 15 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Five. Yeah, your time ends now. Now I'd like to ask this question to you. Do you have those two hills? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and a coconut tree? <laughs> a couple of birds which are flying there? <laughs> and a temple? <laughs> Stairs? A road perhaps? <laughs> and a lake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I ask this question, what A stands for? Everybody? Have, but is that the only thing that stands for A? There are a lot of things. Right? Now, what I'm trying to say here is, oh, you already went to Ari. Well, how many of us are book smarts? I think most of us are book smart. That's the reason why we are here. You know, we got our A's, we got our fours, and we got our uh, distinctions. Well, but is there something more? I did my master's in geology. I was very passionate about getting into something called paleontology. And later I realized, man, there is nothing that I can see. Uh, I was lost, only to discover that, well, I think I may have to switch over and I did my MBA. Till my MSc, I think the journey that I traveled perhaps has not given me anything. I'll tell you what I got from that later. I believe it's very important for all of us to be street smart as well. You saw that car is going to come down. What I'm going to say here is, this car is ours. We are instrumental in making this car, designing this car. This engine is ours and we are driving it. And that's your car. It may be 800, it may be Zen, or it may be a BMW. I don't care, but it's your car. But do you know what? Unfortunately, in our own car, we are driving as a backseat drivers and we have allowed somebody else to drive our car for us. Maybe your parents, your friends, or I don't know. If I ask one of you, why did you do me? Because, ah, I think that's what everybody do after 12. My friends were there in their college and that's one reason why I went there. But, do you know actually what is it that you may want to do? By the time we discover, the way it happened to me, I don't want that to happen to you. I'm just trying to give my example here. And the narrow slide which is going to come very shortly now, our car, we are driving it for somebody else. That individual has got dreams, and he has ambitions and goals, and we are driving him as a driver. But our objective of my speech or the education session here is to see if you can get into the driving seat of your car. Do you want to? Yes. Yes. Will you be able to relate this? 
maybe some 15 or 20 years ago, a high school or your neighborhood, you saw this kid who was not as smart as you, not as intelligent as you, maybe economically, not as prosperous perhaps as you, and you thought maybe he will lead a life generally people of that kind will lead. But today, just try to recollect that individual. Imagine, I'm sure you'll be able to uh, get someone in your imagination. That individual is doing much, much, much better than you. Do you have someone whom you can relate? If you can spend some time, I'm sure you'll be able to pull in a lot of many people who are not as smart as you, but do things much, much better than you today. That's because they've been able to relate book smart we all do education. Let me tell you this story. Do you all know the capsule story? Many years later, I don't want to tell that story because you know it. Many years later, the grandson of the capsule, we were walking on the same room and he sleeps under the same banyan tree. When he wakes up, he discover there's no capsule on. And he know what to do. He will remove his cap and throw it on a crown. <laughs> he knows. But to his dismay, a baby monkey jumps and takes that cap and runs away. He says, no, this is not the way it is. <laughs> so no. Why? No, this is not the way it is. Because my grandfather said, when I throw a cap, you guys are supposed to throw all those caps. <laughs> For which he says, even I had a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what are you learning in your education? Are you learning things your grandfather way or to obey? I have a chance. Yes, you have to learn to obey. I have a chance to attend to my niece's uh, graduation ceremony. When I saw them wearing this graduation dress, uh, this is what I saw on their heads, higher me. Unfortunately, not higher education will make you higher me. You agree. In, during 10th, you wanted to be something. My friend he told, I wanted to be a pilot. Then in Pew, you realized I need to go to B because that's where everybody goes. Uh, no offense to software engineers. <laughs> I wanted to be a doctor or a teacher or a lawyer. Is that all? I don't think so. When I wake up in the morning and go to Bangalore and see this electronic city, traffic, all vehicles go towards one way. The other way is always free. You have no idea how comfortable for you to come. The other, you know, if I want to go to Coronula, I can just glide. But people in the morning, they are busy going somewhere. The reason is, everybody thought that's the only way that they have. You join up to be, and you come here and be a software engineer. After one or two years, you still wonder, what do you think I should be doing with my life? This is not life. And you quit your job and you go and do your MBA and you come back and you again you wonder what do you think I should be doing with my life? You remember the pre idiot thing? Yeah. When Amir Khan says, it's a BE kiya. It's about MBA kiya. Abhi US me, bank ka no kiya. No, come on, what do you want in your life? Well, I don't know what. That's what we are called the last generation. Yeah? We are called the last generation because we ask so many questions. Why, why, why? Well, my friends, let me answer. How do you think we can take control of our vehicle? If the reason is, when your parents were competent, they just had to outperform somebody in the left and right. And those were the Lab that is not within my age, but he told me how many years of experience I have. <laughs> During my uh, generation, I have call, I have to outperform people in my college. But here, in your case, most of the people here, I think even in my case, if I have to succeed in the future, I have to, you have to perform people of the same age across the world. And it's pretty tough, isn't it? The paradigm here is, well, the reason is the extent of things that we have learned, A for, and draw something, and what you want to do, uh, okay, and uh, where do you think you, everything is actually 
torn in part to you and you think that's what the life is and that's why the traffic is so heavy. And take this example, even the simple communication, the extent that we have learned. Some of you may be taking down what I'm saying and then you read and it's totally opposite. First is writing, reading, speaking and listening. And when you come to a corporate world or when you want to take things uh, in a better way, if you do this, it will not work. The extent is totally opposite. I believe most of you may know. When you are in a discussion like this, negotiation perhaps, well, listen to what someone is saying. And then when you listen, you are in the position to align the thought that you have about that thing which is being discussed, which you are discussing, then you can ask the right questions. After asking the right questions, read. Read in the sense, comprehend. Then you write it down. Not only thing, we are doing things in the totally opposite way. And if you continue to do things the way you have learned, and try to expect new things, I don't think it will happen. The miracle happens only when Titanic sinks. When only one person survives, otherwise, a lot many people will die. Let me come back here to the next slide. How to get into your driver's speed. Spend some time alone every day. What's the mission of your life? What do you want to do? And how do you think you will go there? And you may have a goal. You may have a strategy. But try to revive. You know, when you try to spend time with yourself, sometimes miracles will happen. You have no idea what you will foresee. Just like in three years, you realize that I don't want to be an engineer, I want to be someone else. And you become a photographer. Well, if that's what you want to do, please go and do it. And here, the next slide, how to get into the driver's side is try walking with somebody who challenges you. This is like, I know a friend who went to US after his master's in physics and wanted to do his PhD. There the group of panelists, they asked him questions, tell me this, tell me this, tell me this, and later they told him, glad we met you. and we know, you know the history of physics, let us teach you physics now. <laughs> so, you are spending time with people who know things, they know what you know. Spend time with people who challenge Now the next slide here, it takes time. Uh, how to get into a driver's side. Successful bosses have good communication skills. And they learn from people, including their employees. Learn. And how do you learn? You know, it left to you. Are you learning it right? It's left to you. Uh, I remember there's somebody who had told me the other day, this man who was sleeping again under the same banyan tree, this intelligent guy, he said, you know English, you are good at most of the things, and I believe you'll be very successful if you get up and do something. You say, what do you think I should do? Do some work. And then, maybe you can have people working and assisting for you, and then, maybe you can start your own export-oriented company. I was told that the, the neighboring island have a lot of demand for this kind of work, the competency that you have. And then you what? Can you really relax and have fun in your life? Now, that attitude is where I see here. Now, if you want to learn, uh, learn from people from everyone around. And the competencies that you have, bring into action. There's no point in having all the skills and not doing anything. Will it help? No. There's two other dogs. There's Chad Marx Mari and Tamil and Gita. Or you don't want to poverty as it does either. Why? Because Whatever I told you, they were able to relate things, right? The next slide here is walk in such a way that makes you boss look, you know, it's not a bad thing. Walk in such a way that everybody thinks like, you know, why is he putting so much of things into that? You know that Michelangelo story? When he was walking hard, this guy said, you know what, take some rest, man. He'll say, no. Do you know what? There is an angel which is imprisoned in this uh, marble. I need to work hard now to release her. I just want to work hard to release her. Do you think you are working hard to release the passion that you have? It's not a flattery. If somebody calls it a flattery, let them call it. It's fine. Uh, I'd like to end this with Martin Luther King's uh, uh, famous quote where he says, even if you are a sleeper, it's okay. But sleep in such a way 
that even after long you come, people will remember that there used to be a sleeper, who used to see things so well. Get into your car and take your driver's seat. Thank you.